Hey guys, this is Darren with Creativity Unleashed, and in this video we're going to do a second test of the Zinni arc welding machine at full output on 220 volts, which is 40 volts. Uh, these are 532nd, 7018. They're a bit old, probably quite a bit old. They're even like splitting and stuff, so that's not uh, ideal, but you're going to be able to see how it does. This already has some beads on it, so we'll just put a second pass over this. Alright, so it definitely does run it, uh, but it is stuttering a bit and you have to have like a perfect arc length. So, get the idea though, but for the price, that's pretty impressive to be able to be even running this heavy amp and electric. Now anything down to 8th inch, it seems to run pretty much, it runs it very well. Now it's arc strike, it doesn't really have a hot start, so you might have to touch it a couple times, which can be annoying, but still the arc performance are a lot better on 240 volts or 220, however you want to call that. So, yeah, let's um, flip this over and run some 8th inch electrodes. And you can see how that does. We're also going to be running some overhead. So, here's what it looks like. I was welding over a bunch of old welds, so that's why it's so uneven mostly. Yeah, and over here is. Um, 332nd. So in this shot here, I'm running an 8th inch 7018, and um, touches off just lovely there. Um, has really good penetration. You can hear like burning a hole almost there. I was just kind of saying once about a little too much, but uh, trying to hold the GoPro and my helmet all in one hand and look through it and weld with my other hand. So the weld's pretty shaky. So do this for me there. Um, but I also ran some. 8th inch 6010 with the machine on 220 and I was pleasantly surprised how well it really did. I mean, I mean, sure there are better machines. There are way better machines, but for a hundred dollars or a hundred and some dollars of shipping, like, how can you beat that? Um, I've had like the Thermal Arc 95S, which it really wouldn't even run an 8th inch Electro. And um, so it's very pleasant and that costs almost $400. So very pleasantly surprising to find a machine for a low cost that's quite light, versatile, and um, seems to be put together decently well. And so I hope you guys find this helpful. I had a few people ask for a 220 video, and so this is the response to that. And um, you guys have a great day. Here's some overhead running some more 8th inch. Um, you can also tell the the touch off of the hot start, which it doesn't really have, is a little um, slightly more challenging, but 7018s always do have that sort of um, more challenging start. Um, but yeah, it does quite well, and the beads went in there quite well, and yeah, it did a good job. So if you guys have any other welding questions, leave them in the comments, and if I get a chance, I will try to get back with you or make a video response on it. And um, you guys have a great one, and I hope you found it helpful and useful for whatever welding applications and needs you have. So, yeah.